there's a man about a quarter of a mile to my, what would you say that is, two o'clock? Yeah. And I'm not joking, he's let his bush get so thick and out of control that he's had to get a man in with a metal blade to thin it out a bit, hasn't he? So if you hear some whir in it, it's a man up there. Blood curdling screams when he catches one. Ooh. Hello. Hey, uh, before I forget, I want to say thank you to everybody who sent me happy birthday messages. Because uh, quite, we don't, we didn't quite talk about it a lot, did we? Yes. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, she did. Uh, but thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. We went to Inverness. We did. Into civilization, because we, where we live, there's nothing really, <laughs> apart from the neighbours and the man with his really big bush. And uh, what? So it's nice to have a drive into civilization, it's, and it's a lovely drive, isn't it? Down the yes. A9, it's, it takes us about an hour and a half. But there's all the hills and the locks. <laughs> and as soon as we get into Inverness, what does Sean do? Sean is kind of drawn, aren't you, to McDonald's. He likes his bacon and egg. There's no stopping him, is there? It's like you're like a homing pigeon, you're like a homo pigeon. Uh, so we did that. I don't know why I'm, why I'm taking the mick, because as soon as we went to McDonald's and had his bacon and egg McMuffins, we went to the shopping centre. <laughs> And I was kind of drawn into into my favourite shop too. You missed that. I think he got a little nick. Ooh, we had a yelp. It is nice to go back into civilization, isn't it? And do it is. and do stuff. But Just then, for a couple of hours. But then it gets a bit uh, and it's nice to come back into it, back to North Pole out at way. <laughs> what I want to know is where's your beard? I don't have a beard. I've never. People keep going on about this. I don't have a beard. You mentioned this a couple of weeks ago. He did. I don't know what he's talking he shaved about. Shaved it off. He grew it back and he shaved it off. But yeah, I'm still shaving my balls. Uh, so anyway, <sighs> here we are. If you've been wondering where we are, is, is Sean building our new house? Well, actually, he's done such a good job that he could be. We talked, we talked about a new career. We'll tell you about that in, in a few moments. Have we? But I wanted to show you this first. This is Sherlock's Muse. Well, it will be when it's finished. So I don't remember all this bit being in last time. What's happened? I've got the walls up. <laughs> this is the shed part. Ignore that part. Can you get a bit closer to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be Colin's storeroom for Sherlock. Full of tools at the moment. Exp explain to the people why those holes in the in the shed won't be there. They won't be there because on the other side, between covering all those, is going to be a piece of 2B1. And it, it'll make it look a bit fancy on the outside as well. Okay, what's this bit in here? What's this bit? This bit, right, that's not quite secure yet, but this is so that Sherlock can see us come in. And that is Sherlock's indoor area. I'm guessing there'll be a floor. There will be a floor. So at the moment where Sherlock is, he's basically got this space and this space all in one, hasn't he? Yeah, that's about right, yeah. Shall we show them the extra bit that we're gonna create for him? What, yes. So he's got all this space that you can see, but he's also gonna have All this, this space. It's massive. He will be able to fly in here, which he's not been able to do for quite a while. In here, it's about four by eight meters. It's quite big. So he's got plenty of room to fly about in. And we've got all this up here to keep him in. Round at the bottom here, it will all be panelled out all the way round. The whole of this area above me is open and netted with welded steel and this is so we can see the treetops and all the other birds that will be about and if we walk this way a little bit this section here has got a roof on so he's got some shelter in the pouring rain 
snow and all that sort of stuff. The back here, all this will be panelled, all of it, so that it's got some a little private in outdoor area here. The front of it there is mesh so that he can see us when we're messing about outside. This will be his entrance into his indoor bit and this will have a big shelf here so he can fly and land on it and walk in and that will also double as a door so we can shut that in case we need to keep him indoors. We thought it chopped the big, the, this main bit off then because it went very quiet and we heard a siren and we don't normally hear sirens siren. around here, did we? I'm going to take Otis for a walk around there and see if there's any blood on the road in the bit. <laughs> right, anyway, so you've seen the muse and Fab, we, we are here to work. Sp work, it's me. Yeah. It's your turn to work, innit? Shall I get your uh, pole dancing pole out and you can do your, your twerking for the viewer? Yeah, uh, that's working. What are you faffing at? Yeah, you should see you should see him when he's pole. Are you going to work it for us, baby? <laughs> are you? No, I am not. You should see him pole dancing. He's ace, aren't you? You're like a cross between Beyonce and Tommy Cooper. He's <laughs> <laughs> really good. I'll put your sexy music on for you. Will you do it for us? I pulled it off the ceiling last week. <laughs> this sun coming in and out is absolutely buggering up my continuity. There's two words we're not allowed to say on radio. One is and the other is so, Don't! You can't say that on sorry. here. The man on the bleep machine knows what to do. It's, I tell you what, he's good. You can catch it. You've got, he's got to, you can catch him out if right. you really... <laughs> do you think he got that one? <laughs> yes, I hope so. I was walking to the shops for next... <laughs> <laughs> He's good, isn't he? Isn't he? Oh, oh. Behave! No, he's good. He's, he's good at catching him. Uh, right, Are you, right. We've got to go to another part of the croft, but Sean's knees hurt him because he's been yes. working so hard on his knees. Sound wrong. Shall we rephrase that? No, I'm not picking my bum. I've got some in my back pocket and I'm, I'm trying to work out where it is without sort of gazing away from the camera right we need to go to the barn because we've got some things to do we've got to work but sean can't jump because of his knees so we've got to do the transformation but we've got to do the magic shimmy now instead okay are you ready you, we practiced this do you remember in the bath just before you got on scales this morning are you ready <laughs> right come on right magic shimmy here we go Oh my goodness. It worked, it worked. I can't believe it worked. So we're in the train barn. Yes. Which, as you might uh, have seen, it isn't a train barn yet. <laughs> do you know, do you, I'm asking you as well as her, do you know the, the date we actually first talked about the train barn? 8th of April, 1986. No. Even better than that, it was a year ago today. Really? This is literally the train barn. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna convert this drafty, damp old barn into a huge model railway line. We've done a lot, haven't we? And, uh, and yeah. So why, a year later, is it not the train barn? As, as you know, we cleared the whole barn out not so long ago, a few weeks ago. But because we've been waiting for the builder and waiting for the builder, I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the builder. We started putting stuff back in again. <laughs> we are. I actually don't know what this is. Shall we open it and have a look? Okay. Well, I know what this is. This is trains. This is trains that was given to me by a kind viewer. Uh, so these are waiting, but we thought we'll, we'll put them in the train barn so we can use them. These came for, this is for our honey extraction and I've not even opened it yet for the simple reason we didn't have any honey. Now, we have got some honey coming, mummy, but uh, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Oh my Lord, look at this monster. Wow. So this is gonna be my honey extractor. I don't think I'm going to be able to lift this. I can't even lift it out. Can you see how what a behemoth that is? 
Oh my god, that is ace. So that is what's going to be used to extract the honey. Wow, I'm going to put that back together so I don't lose that. What else have we got? Uh, these are buckets. So when we're extracting the honey, the honey goes into these buckets while we're moving it around and doing stuff with it. So they're my buckets. I don't know what's in this one. Oh my God, it's like Christmas in the train barn. This is so cool. Ah, right, okay, come and have a look at this. So this is a, this is a tray. I don't know if you can see the tray in there. Oh, a hat as well. Oh, look, they've sent me a hat. That is so cool. You can see this tray here. It's like a stainless steel tray. So when I'm uncapping all the honey off the, all, all, the, all the frames and I'm taking all the wax capping off the top of the honey, I do that in this so that all the honey from the bits that I'm kind of not putting in the main bit is dropping in there so it's still collecting honey. Does that make sense? It makes sense. It does make sense, doesn't it? And there's some filters and taps and other stuff in there. We've got something like that in our s and dungeon, haven't we? <laughs> oh, we'll use that later. <laughs> I can't believe they sent me a hat, that is so cool. Well, I don't know what's in this one. Ah, I do know what, the, I don't know what this one is now. So this is our storage unit. So once we've extracted all the honey, from the frames, it goes into this. And what we do is we let it settle, we strain it as it goes through, but then we let it settle in this. And then you can see there's a like a tap at the bottom and we open that up and the honey comes out of there. And then we strain it again. And then we can put it in the jars from there. Wow, so cool. I haven't had a chance to play with all this yet. Have I? Not yet. What else we got? I think that's it, isn't it? That's it. Oh, there's some like strainers and filters and things there, and it captures all the bits so we don't get bits in the honey. I can't believe the centers that hat. Thank you so much. That is brilliant. Uh, right, so honey, we have got some coming. We didn't think we were going to get any because all the hives and the colonies were so new and young. I had a gut feeling that because of all the heather we were going to get that it would be late in the season. Because if you look around England and Wales, especially Wales, they've had some really bad weather this year. So bad that a lot of beekeepers have not been getting any honey. And more than that, a lot of the bees are actually starving. They haven't even had enough food for the cells, never mind honey for us. And so I was kind of looking at what was going on and thinking, well, maybe it's the same for us. So I had to start treating them for Varroa. That's a mite that kills them, it's not very nice. And I did that, but then the weather turned nice and all the heather came out here. You probably saw the video a week or so ago. And all of a sudden they've gone from not making any honey to making absolutely loads of the stuff. Now I did an inspection this morning and we've got about 40 or 50 frames full of honey. So I can't wait to start using this. It's gonna make some amazing vlogs because we're gonna show you how it all works. And it's going to be amazing getting the honey and the weird thing is it's uh, some of the adopted hives that are getting the honey which i think is quite lucky don't you i do cameraman yes so <laughs> so it's people that have adopted hives uh which are the older colonies mostly from last year or very early this year and they're the ones that are getting the honey so if you want to adopt a hive and get yourself some honey and get on a vlog uh, there's some details in the video description on how to do that so what's all this got to do with a new career. Yeah. <laughs> the new career is Sean isn't going to be a pole dancer anymore. Oh! He's going to be a builder, aren't you? No, I'm not going to be a builder. Well, you are in a way. Because we can't wait any longer for, for the builders, and because Sean's done so well, uh, well, your apprenticeship was building the chicken coop. Yes. Well, the second one that didn't fall down. <laughs> and then he built the muse, which he's done such a good job. At. He has, he has, thank you. They're all clapping at you. Uh, so he's decided that he's going to rope a couple of friends in, a couple of locals, and we're going to do the job ourselves, aren't we? So <laughs> the, the friends we've got coming in, uh, they know what they're doing, they're like chippies, aren't they? Yes. 
so they're going to help us fix the roof and they're going to help us dig the floor out and put the new floor in. Yes, concrete. Uh, concrete floor. Uh, and then we're going to decide from there how we're going to finish it off because we were planning on lining the whole thing out with wood. And a few of you said it would be a shame to lose these high ceilings, which it would. Would. Do you get it? Keep up! But we kind of thought, well, it actually would be nice to keep them, but it's very grubby and dirty because there's old birds' nests. Not in use anymore. It's still got to be lined. Uh, so we've got to do something with it to clean it up. And then there's all the mess on top of the bricks, on top of the stones and stuff like that. So we've, we've still got a lot to do. But as soon as Sean's finished on the Muse, which is going to be in the next week or two, yes. we're going to start work on this straight away. We've got the lads waiting, literally they're waiting on us now yeah. to come in and get started. So it shouldn't take that long. How come we had to shimmy to get in there, but we don't have to shimmy to get back? Magic. I like a bit of a shimmy, don't you? It's a bit like a ham shank. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now you really look forward to it, don't you? And, uh, what? So when do you reckon we can have Sherlock? Uh, about three, four weeks. That's it, isn't it? Although he did say two weeks for like eight months when he was talking about finishing the chicken coop, didn't you? How it's, long? It'll be finished in two weeks. It'll be finished in two weeks. I reckon about three or four weeks yeah. before Sherlock's in. Yes. And then starting work on the barn. Ooh. We've got to find somewhere to put all that honey equipment as well, yeah? I know. The amount of honey we're getting, wow. Can't wait, I really can't wait. We'll have to build a new kitchen. It'd be ace, because we're doing a, a live vlog where we're going to do like a silent auction. Yes. And it'd be nice if we could get some honey in that silent auction. It would wouldn't it? That'd be ace. Uh, watch out for that. That's coming soon. We'll give you more details on that as soon as we've got a date for it. Yeah. Uh, so the, the other things we're going to be doing in the live auction are, are stuff will hopefully some honey, uh, some of Sean's marmalade. Uh, we're right. going to be signing some of our new photo books and calendars, uh, the Foxes Afloat calendar and the Cheeky Naked Fox calendar. Yeah. Uh, and some other personal bits and pieces, not that type of personal. Mrs. Blewett. Uh, but that's it for, for this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Well, we're done. Yeah, if you're not already, please subscribe to our channel. Yes, please. Not like we're begging or anything. <laughs> please subscribe to our channel. Uh, like the video uh, and hit the wibbly wobbly bell and YouTube will notify you. I'll do it then. Yeah, yeah, you do it. And uh, I remember, this reminds me of when we were all young and gay. And YouTube will let you know every time we release a new vlog. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, uh, which keeps us doing all this stuff on the croft. It does. We, we can't, we're doing quite a lot. We're after a bit of land to get some donkeys, some highland oh. coons, and some goats, aren't we? Are we? Yeah. Pygmy goats. This I, is news to me. I thought pygmy goats were like pigs crossed with goats. <laughs> I did. And then I saw a photo of it, and luckily they're kind of equally cute, aren't they? Uh, if you want to help support the channel uh, and, and keep us going with the croft, uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. One is to join us on Patreon. The other is to become a YouTube member. It's a bit different from a YouTube subscriber. Uh, and what you do is you pay a little bit each month and you get loads of kind of exclusive photos and extra bits behind the scenes stuff that's exclusive to you. Uh, if you want to join Patreon, there's a link up above Sean's head on the screen. If it's not there, because it's only on some devices, it'll be down in the video description, which is also where there's some links for our 2024 calendars, which are now available to order. A uh, fab as well. And our new photo book, which is out, I think, in a week or two, isn't it? I haven't seen it yet. It isn't. Right, I've got a dry mouth now. I need to go and moisten my mouth. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. ta -da. Uh, I've got sticky on my hands. What's that? Oh! We get some funny remarks, you know, when people see we... we, we see people sweep... I don't know, sweeping some of them. <laughs> My reputation, I would imagine. Oh, isn't it? That went out years ago. So pretend we can show people around there. Yeah. yeah. I just farted and it really smells. <laughs> it really, even though it's quite breezy, you know, <laughs> it's like stuck it back in my throat. Oh dear me. Oh, no. <laughs> that I was studier, Donald ducking it, but they couldn't tell. I'm not allowed to see. You got the painters in. <laughs> Google it. So what's all this got to do with a new career? 
it might be West Korea because there's already a North and a South. When I was talking about a new career, I might have been talking about a country, might I? No, I wasn't. Don't be thick, of course I wasn't.